Max, I appreciate, you know, leaving Jason to come work for me, but I didn't hire you as a consultant or a shrink. You're my bodyguard. The same as it's always been. You don't get to tell me how to conduct my business. Part of being a bodyguard is anticipating a problem. Now, Karpov is a heavy hitter. The guy is a straight-up criminal. Yes. So what? <sighs> well, so a couple of things. You swore to Kate that you were out of the business. Now you're going around aligning yourself with the Karpov's lying her back. <sighs> Mr. C, you are a smart man. Mm -hmm. You must know that you're putting yourself in a situation that could blow up in your face. Now, if I didn't know better, I think that you were in that deliberately self-sabotaging mode that you disappear into. I know exactly what I'm doing, Max. You don't say a word to Kate. And no one has to worry about anything. Excuse me. I, I hope not. You really think Jason would rise up against me? You tell me. I'm if you were in charge, if you had taken over for someone who swore they were out clean, and then they turned around and they made an alliance with one of your competitors, what would you do? There are faster ways to commit suicide than waving a red flag in front of Jason. How come you're not assuming that I'm, I'm helping him instead of betraying him? I never said betray. Well, you implied it, Max. <sighs> Things have been tense between you and Jason ever since Michael got hurt. Now you're helping Karpov's move in on his territory. I'm working with Karpov to keep him out of Jason's way. I'm helping Karpov. So he leaves Jason alone. That's not betrayal. That's protection. This is really bad. I mean, I think Lulu is more fragile than we realize. Her biggest fear is looking in the mirror one day and realizing she's lived her mother's life. How do we know that hasn't already happened? What do you mean? What if Logan raped Lulu? Luke raped Laura. And then Laura turned around and killed her stepfather, a man she loved. I mean, not the same way Lulu loved Logan, but man, you've got to admit the parallels are pretty scary. I'm sure Lulu is freaking out right now. She probably sees herself a few years down the road sitting in some mental ward. I don't know, maybe I could have helped her if I knew. I just felt... Sorry if I, uh, if I handle it wrong. I, I just reacted. You know, no, it's not your fault. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm really afraid for my cousin. I think Lulu's nightmare has just begun. Listen, I want Commissioner Scorpio to meet me down at the police station. I want a detailed report of what happened to my son, how he was killed, and I, and I want to know what the department is doing about finding his killer. Goodbye. Scott, I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh, come on, Tracy. You hated Logan. You always looked down your society, snouted him was never good enough for Lulu. You tried to get him out of town many times. Maybe you decided to get rid of him for good. Are you serious? You're capable of that, Tracy. You're capable of anything. Maybe you made a deal with Johnny to get him out of Lulu's life permanently, huh? Okay. Settle down. Right, your son was just killed. Just let it settle before you start making accusations you can't back up. You people treated Logan like something you'd scrape off your penny loafer. I wasn't there for him in this life, but I'm stepping up now. He was a human being. He was my son, damn it. And I'm going to find out who killed him, and they are going to pay. You got that? Handle a trip to the store, Lulu. You are the one that's supposed to be armed and dangerous. Your face is the one that is probably plastered all over the newspapers and the news. I can be anonymous. Yeah, not with that mug. Flattery will get you anything you want. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Seriously, I'll go out and I'll get a, a hat and sunglasses and no one will even notice me. You have been to enough. I had a nightmare, big whoop. Yeah, it is a big whoop. Look, it just reaffirms what you said, that you're drowning in guilt over Logan. It was a nightmare. I've had him before. I probably will have him again, but it doesn't make me helpless. Do you plan on always being this dumb? What you see is pretty much what you get. And you'll need some cash. Wow. Let me just take a second to congratulate myself. When you bust a guy out of jail, it really helps. When he's equipped with tons of cash, a getaway car, and a pre-planned getaway bag. Well, I aim to please. <laughs>
Any special requests? Yeah, one. Be safe. <laughs> and chips and salsa. Oh, got it. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it took me by surprise the way Sonny rushed to your defense like some black knight in tarnished armor. Last I knew, you were supposed to despise each other. Well, maybe even Sonny has his limits. Maybe he didn't think it was appropriate. You know, for a father to be screaming at his daughter in the middle of a crowded restaurant about how he wished he drowned her when she was a baby. You know I didn't mean that. No. I really don't. If that's true, it breaks my heart. We haven't been good to each other, Claudia. That's your mother's fault. <laughs> it is. She turned you against me, and I couldn't trust you after that. She tried to make you over into her own selfish image. And she succeeded too well. You got greedy. You got hungry for more power than any woman should ever have. I regret that. I regret what's between us. I wish we could have been closer. But things are what they are. That hunger for power makes you dangerous to John. I can't let that stand. Yeah. Here you go.